Hi, welcome to Blue Mountain Brewery. I'm Taylor Smack. And, and I'm Mandy Smack. <laughs> welcome to Blue Mountain on a beautiful late summer, early fall evening. We've got our new facility open and just wanted to show everybody around. Uh, we've got a beautiful new outside beer garden around us. And we've got a whole new is this it? How new is this? This is within the last couple months we've completed our new beer garden. Uh, you're just looking at our hop fields right now. They're down for the season. We've got a wonderful harvest sale on brewery, and our full mountain features our farm hops uh, year round. And right here, back again, we have our new facility. So come on in, we'll take Why a Why do they call it a beer garden? Beer garden, hmm. I think it's because you can enjoy beer in kind of a natural outside social setting. Uh, what classifies a beer garden is just uh, you know, communal. Uh, goodbye, there goes my youngest son. Oh. It's to being able to sit with everybody from the community uh, in an outside setting. Trees, grass, hops are ideal. And uh, drink lots of good beer. And we have 10 beautiful cold seasonal draft beers uh, available right now. So uh, our beer gardens are set between uh, terrace patios here, uh, pergola over there, decks. Uh, I've got a lawn for kids to play. See ya. Thanks for coming. Uh, so it's just wonderful. We're very excited about and uh, a lot to show you inside if you guys want to take a look, follow us. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> Whoa, this is all new, huh? Totally new. It is our first night being open to the public. And as you can see, the whole point of a beer garden, everybody actually uh, wants to be outside right now because oh. it's so beautiful. Is that, these are some great bartenders. We've is got that Rich legal? and Liz right okay. here. Say hi. What's your names again? Liz. Grant. Liz. Grant. Hey, what's this? What's what's this stuff? This is our new beer dispense room, which I'll be touring inside with you shortly. It's my little pet project, pumping the beer 271 feet from the old existing brewery over to our new bulk serving tanks and keeping it an icy cold 32 degrees and uh, just pumping right through the taps right here. So we'll head on there. It's, uh, Apparently, they hold, they hold it every few years as the Olympics of beer. They got recognized for the silver medal. The Olympics of beer? Yes, indeed. Super size kitchen. Super size? Well, relative. Compared to oh. what we used to have. Whoa. Come on in. Whoa, they're cooking in here. This guy's washing dishes. You like washing dishes here at Blue Mountain? Yeah. yeah. We've added cool. to our menu uh, with the new addition. We now have burgers on. We've got some, uh, some great specialty burgers with some local uh, mushroom from Ann Fog. Um, we've got a classic burger and we also have a spicy Thai burger. Ah. Tommy's ripping one up right now. Tommy. Hi, Tommy. Hi, how are How's you? How's it going? I just had the. Uh, I had the bratwurst from Double H Farm. It was delicious. Oh, yeah. Love that. I'm getting a lot of compliments about those. It was really good. To the really cool beer pipes outside that I'd like to show you. Yes, go. Yeah. Let's go. Let's go. Can lead me to that? All right. This way. I think maybe. Go from beer. the burgers to the beer. That's right. the coolest thing right here. What the heck around. is that thing? Whoops. <laughs> I just lost my stuff. Yeah, sure. <laughs> what the heck is that thing? That's a giant generator that runs off those propane tanks. We can uh, go without power for four days here and say completely operational. Wait a minute. Say that again? We can run this entire facility here for four days without power because we have a giant wow. generator, yes. So next time the power is out, so you know where to go. this is the place to come when you don't have power. Yes, we could always pour the beer because it's pushed by gas, but, uh, you know, it gets a little old when you can't flush the toilet or uh, or stay warm. So now, you know, Nelson, we're rural. It's the way we roll out here, so this is the new community hub when the power goes out. Even cooler. Look up at the roof right there. Oh, what is that? Those beer lines that? right there poke into the roof. We'll go see where they terminate in a minute, but follow them all wait, the way wait, along those are here. Beer those lines? are beer lines all the way here, here. Why are all. they on the roof? Well, they're on the roof because uh, our brewery is way over there. And yeah, but why aren't they on the ground? <laughs> well, on the ground, I worry that my staff might kind of tap into them. I don't know. I'm not sure. Oh, okay. That. They're up out of the way there. What happens is every time we filter a batch of beer, it's, uh, 30 barrels or about a thousand gallons. And uh, a lot of that we can bottle or keg for our market.
market in Virginia, mm -hmm. but the rest of it we need to serve on site here. And we used to uh, have to keg that all, and that involves, you know, kegging 20, 30 kegs, uh, filling the kegs, later cleaning the kegs, stacking the kegs. It just gets old. So now that we realize the level of business here, turn it into a classic group pub model and have what are called serving vessels in the tanks behind the bar. So every time we filter beer, we pre-chill these lines with a sanitizer and then blast it out with CO2 and then we pump about 310 gallons of beer over to these holding tanks and it happens in about 10 or 15 minutes. We just shoot the beer over and then the tanks are full, we touch up the carbonation, and they're ready to roll from that tank room that we will now go check out. Wow, you got it figured out. We got to figure the cold tank room and check out what we have going on. Go, keep going. I'm going to follow you. You're going to follow me yeah. with it? <laughs> follow you. Where are you going with it? To the table. Oh, he's bringing it over to, to the gang. Yeah. All right. Okay. If you look at your menu, you have to play with the table and play with it. Sampler before? Yes, but the sampler appears to have grown as the tap has grown, apparently. And so the sampler used to be smaller. And now, as you said earlier, it's very ambitious of us to be taking on the sampler. We're sharing it with time. Are you guys regulars here at, at Blue Mountain? We, we try to make it out as uh, often as we can. We live in Charlottesville, so it's a little bit of a drive, but it's, the beer is always with it. I'm yeah. a um, amateur beer connoisseur in me, I think. Incredible! <laughs> and so then the brewery was born, and, so and now, now I can't uh, get now it. Now, are, are you going to influence? Him? Well, actually, I love wine. I don't like beer at all. <laughs> Except, Except this is a man who has 25 beers in front of him. That's right. It, th this is my exception. When I when I come here, I love the beer, and I, I always try to ask uh, for the sampler because there's always something new. Looks like her daddy. 